Well, we got this awesome. What does that say, though? Can you guys see that? Wait, let's check on the screen, though. Um, let's just open up Winver because I think I'm tripping here. Oh, come on. Oh jeez, no! I thought I escaped you. No! Hey guys, this is generic person here, back with another video. Now, before we get on to the video, it's been sort of I've been very busy in the past couple of weeks, so I really haven't been able to make another video. So, yeah, so I apologize for that. But anyways, let's get on to business. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a basic new calculator. Well, we'll try to anyway, so we're gonna open up our good old but wait, what the? This is out of date now, I'm kidding. What do you expect? This is actually version 52, and note that this does contain sensitive information. We can't perform any further updates. This is actually a 64-bit um, computer. It's just one in 32-bit Windows Vista, so that's what it shipped with. So... Um, so, Firefox no longer supports XP and Vista. I mainly use Firefox anyway, so, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. And if we can't do it on Vista, we're going to have to go the Savage route and try it on Windows 10. Yes, Windows 10 does work on here, but it'll be a 32-bit version. Can we click that, though? Oh, oh so, okay, so, we're going to try to go to MinGW. We install that as our compiler. Then we use Notepad++ for our editor. Now, I cannot show you, um... Oh. Wait, hold on. Alright, so I can't show you some of this stuff because, again, this does contain sensitive information that is not my information. Else, yeah. Also, I am not using OBS because, one, it's gonna perform extremely horrible, I bet you what. And second, it's the latest version may not work on Vista, and I may encounter issues. Alright, so, let's um, go ahead and get the setup. I've tried to set this up many times before, and... Excuse me. So, alright, I've tried to set this up um, a couple of times before, and... It's always failed, and yeah. So let's go ahead and. And yes, there is also Sidewind here, too. Um, again, can't show you so uh, much stuff, and let me actually see something here. I need to, like, change. Well, you know what? I'll, let me get things. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, so we, we're back, and, um, yep. And so we got Notepad++, and this is actually the latest version. So, let's try to continue, and um, let's reinstall this, actually. So, we all we are able to, um, thankfully, download stuff during the install. I've been through situations when I'm not able to do that. And, yeah, so... Hopefully this does work, and if it doesn't work, then dang it, we may just need to use Windows 10. So, alright, so, um, yeah, this thing is a bit slow. I haven't unleashed its full potential here, and, well, let's just get started. Let's make this bigger for you guys to see. Oh. Dang it, I thought control plus would do. Zoom. Oh. Okay. There we go. Alright, you guys should hopefully be able to see this better. I could have, of course, in, um, decreased the resolution. Let's just, first of all, let's actually write some stuff. Oh, wait. Except we can't because, uh, yeah, I think Notepad++ flows. And it says download failed, and well, 
here we go it foes yeah so I mean yeah here we go just here we go again I guess oh well so yeah I'll be right back until this thing unfreezes if it does but I have a feeling not alright so we're starting up again from scratch we're gonna try one more time. I had to full shut this down. So yeah. Although I guess it really I really didn't wait long, so mm. normally. So anyways, um Well Yeah, we just gotta wait for this thing to boot. I'll probably um say I'll probably talk about the backup plan, so what we're going to do with the backup plan is that we're basically going to put Windows 10 on this thing. I actually have it installed to a hard drive, so that's good. Alright, so, oh. So, and this is, this will have to be the 32-bit version, which, and yes, it is an activator, although I do have some putty keys, but I'm not, I'm not willing to use them. I mean, really, I'm not actually serious about this Windows 10 install. I mean, heck, I would be had I had another computer, and I'm unsure if I'm using this one, but I have another laptop, and I'm pretty sure if I'm using that one. So, right. should we do browsing through Internet Explorer? Because why not? No, because one of the things old and second Firefox is better. Well... Screw it, we're, we're rebels, so... Oh, about Internet Explorer 9. Yeah, Internet Explorer 7 was originally put on here until this got updated, but that was by me. And if we can use the default, that's basically here, and that's... If we apply that, okay. Reload this. It's basically going to take us to that, and the site's gone now. That, or it's not working. So... I probably should just dis uncheck that. Um, we need software rendering. Um, which do we need to use? Neighbor suggested sites. I guess we could do that. Automatic crash recovery. Um, Huh. Well, it is passive FTP. Um, we need to like. I think. Uh, all right. Um, I guess this uses a, a newer version of TLS, in my assumption. So we're using both two and three. I mean, I was able to fix this because of the TL TLS settings. So I'll try to have a test site. Go to Google dot. And it can't display the web page. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back again. Well, I was able to get a mengw.org. So, that's all that matters. I'm gonna have a, um, hard time using this thing, though. So, let's just go ahead. Sites, uh, maintenance performs successfully good. Except, actually, um, the goal is... Oh, no, it's already on the desktop. Install, complain, reinstall. Alright, so, well, in the meantime, I'll try to get some, I'll we'll try to code this thing up. I don't need that. Um, so, alright, so, um, Alright, so this is gonna be this is gonna be another calculator that's gonna be win and see. And we're gonna go to standard uh unfortunately the, yes I'm using my phone. And let's just Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna be a good experience. 
And that thing's going well, so um, we'll just code up in the meantime and we'll be right back. Well, here we are, here we are at our Windows 10 desktop. That was a cool, um, lock screen picture that I hope we can get to again, but oh well. So we got a notification here, so, um, what's this notification and of course, I, yes, I don't plan to activate Windows anytime soon, because I'm not actually serious about this installation. Either way, it may get erased, um, depending on the outcome, well, depending on an outcome. So, I ain't telling you, but, yeah. Alright, so, hold on a sec. We shall turn this thing off, I was using this earlier, and so was my grandma. And now, we shall have, um, this back now, and I need to increase the resolution. Now, we didn't get this watermark before, but I guess now it's confirmed, but all we can just do is not be able to personalize this thing, which isn't the our concern right now. What the heck was that? It just beeped at me. Huh, well, I, I, I like this graphic though, alright, time to get serious, um, this, well, well, we'll fix this up in settings, <laughs> anyway, so when I was logging out, I was just clicking the continue button, Basically, um, to log in, and then I thought it would actually log in, and I didn't. I didn't put anything in there, but it just took a long time. Huh. Well, okay then. So this uh, monomark is gonna be everywhere. Wherever it's gonna be here with us, wherever we go, and so with this. Um. Yes, we need to increase the resolution because I feel like this is too small. I think it was um, at this before. Back in Visa, the oh yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. Keep changes. Alright, so this is good. So we got uh, the latest version of Firefox here. Um, running on Windows 10, the latest and great as well. Not, we'll move the greatest part though. Sponsored. Alright, so we gotta get Minji W installed, so I'll go do that real quick. Alright, so I was really interrupted by this. Um, and here we go. So I just need these to be installed, installation, apply changes, apply, and let's see if this thing works. And it looks like it is working. And it's connecting to OSDN.net this time instead of like SourceForge. Well, now it was, but the majority looks like it's just OSDN. Which, yeah. So it seems, um, promising. Seems, um, very promising and. Yeah, so we got a video right here. Yeah, well, let's take a look at this real quick with, oh, it's basically photos, but, yeah. Oh, right, so, um, and the thing that, also, I'm gonna say this real quick, that the thing that'll annoy, that'll probably annoy you and I, uh, um, out of this world is the fact that, it, when it detects that's connected to the internet and by it Windows 10, it'll it'll ask, it'll um go back to the setup and you have to finish setting up your Microsoft account, like you have to sign in. It's that in tr it, it's it's very it really wants to do that. Like it's that serious. I just got installed, but you really want to do that? Are you dang kidding me? Well, I'm gonna wait for this to finish, and yeah. So, see you guys. Um, see you guys in a bit. 
and you thought that, oh wait, this is owned, but it's thankfully not installed, because I was just about to rant, I was about to rant, I was going to make a rant that they still do this installed, thankfully that's not installed, and they stopped doing that, but when they did that, that was a that was an extreme violation of a human right privacy. In fact, I think we should not. We shouldn't be able to own it. I don't want to own it. I don't want to own it. Yeah, show hidden buttocks. Hide it. We hide. Oh well. Well, yep. So I'll be back in just a bit. All right. So I think Min. <clears throat> MinGW should be installed, and, um, yeah, I'm guessing we just need a command prompt, but first of all, oh, dang it, I thought I could uninstall this. Alright, so we need a command prompt. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so MinGW, um, let's, let me let's figure out something. gonna do this I'm gonna figure that out and please don't ask what I was doing there on TechNet so we're gonna try to figure out some as well it's like product version You don't need to do nothing, but dang it, I'll figure it out. Somehow screw off. Let's check this install guy. Yeah. Well, I ran out of space and I took care of that and I tried see how the performance would work with OBS, but focus okay unfortunately you get this error message so not only was I okay I probably I was sort of wrong I would have been right anyway because well the GPU ain't supported apparently yep that's all it OBS isn't gonna work on this thing I'm in the task manager but that's not our only concern I finally was able to get Minji W to work Yes! Let's just look at this anyway. Your phone. Screw Should we just. Yes, we are. Oh. Memory. Sense provide feedback. Where's the fire location? Oh, it's part of NTOS kernel. What if we were to replace that with lines? Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, so that's not our concern right now. We just need a... What? I need to get to the command prompt. I feel too lazy to search it up. And here we go. We got GCC. We get an L, but that's okay because that's expected. And G++. Make as well, I'm guessing. Oh, no. See me? I'm just curious. Oh well, this list is the Windows subsystem for Linux, but we need a Windows a Windows compiler, so yep. Um I'm actually gonna try to compile lines with this, so let's end up cycling in first of all and second launch firefox. Oh. It's that. So just gonna click yes. Alright, so then we got um do make gonna be a generic make please no arrows well it does seem like it's a going in that case um I'll just wait so yep let's pause the video real quick alright so well this is taking a bit of a long time normally than what it may do on my actual computer 
then again though this is an old desktop but then again this is I guess it would take less if um G plus plus what I want on here but anyways either way we got min GW to work and well yep I'll see you guys in the next video bye hey guys this is generic person here and before the video ends I would like to say thank you for watching this video <laughs>